hey what's going on guys let's look at this problem right here this question is asking for a long ideal solenoid having a circular cross section the magnetic field strength within the solenoid is given by the equation b of t is equal to 0 0.6 t tesla where t is time in seconds if the induced electric field outside the solenoid is 0 0.9 voltage per meter at a distance of 1.5 meter from the axis of the solenoid find the radius of the solenoid and here the question is asking us to find the radius of the solenoid and also we have the electric field magnetic field now let's see how we can use this information to find the radius now if you remember in faraday's law faraday's law to find out the electric field we use this equation integration of e dr that's equal to negative d phi by dt this uh, d phi by dt represents change in magnetic flux and if you remember this one is equal to changing magnetic field times the area now this one if you integrate this one respect to r that's going to give you 2 phi r since we are dealing with circle this is going to be 2 phi r and then here dv by dt is going to remain the same and area of the circle is going to be phi r square okay let's put a capital r because we are, these two are different this r represents this distance the distance from the axis of the solenoid that is this r and this is the r we are trying to find that's the radius of the solenoid okay now let's cancel this phi now let's simplify this one this is 2 er and in the other side of the equation we have db by dt so we are taking the derivative of this b respect to t and if you take the derivative of this given b respect to t this t is going to become 1 so we will get 0 0.6 tesla okay so this is going to be 0 0.6 tesla per second so 0 0.6 and here we have r square and uh, r square is equal to this now let's rearrange this one r square is going to be equal to 2 er divided by 0 0.6 now let's continue this one here r is going to be equal to square root of 2 er divided by 0 0.6 and we know the electric field that is 0 0.9 2 times 0 0.9 times the distance that is 1.5 divided by 0 0.6 and if you calculate this one you will get 2.12 meter and that's going to be our final answer i hope this helps thanks for watching